In 1978, teenage Beth Bledsoe leaves her southern hometown to study at New York University, where her beloved uncle Frank is a revered professor. She soon discovers that Frank is gay and is living with his longtime partner Wally in an arrangement that he has kept secret for years. After the sudden death of Frank's father and Beth's grandfather, Frank is forced to return home for the funeral, and he finally has to face the long-buried trauma that he has spent his entire adult life running away from. Hey, what's going on, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Movie Files. I am here today to give you all my thoughts and my review for the new Amazon Prime original comedy drama. We're talking Uncle Frank, which will be premiering on Amazon November 25th. I'm very excited to let you all know what I thought about this movie, and if you should check it out in this non-spoiler review before we dive into the details, as you can see on the screen now. Make sure you're following me on all my other social media accounts. That way, you all can stay up to date on what's going on over here at Movie Files. If you are new to this channel, welcome to the community. Consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my other early movie reviews, TV coverage, live streams, all the fun things we do on this very channel. It would mean a lot to me if you all can share this video and give it a thumbs up. It helps out the channel, but I also really appreciate it. And in the comments below, again, I know this is an early movie review, but let me know based on the trailer and what you know about the film. Let me know if you're excited for it. And once it does come out on Amazon Prime on November 25th, and if you've seen the film, let's discuss it. Your pros, your cons, what you think about the story, what you think about the characters. Let's discuss this movie in the comments comments below. So when it comes to me, I didn't even need to see a trailer for Uncle Frank. I saw who the writer and the director of the film was. I saw who was in front of the camera. I'm a big fan of everyone involved. So I was already sold. So with that just kind of being out of the way, let's get into the positives by discussing how I felt this film was very powerful in telling this beautiful story. This film, in my opinion, does a great job of telling the story of how running away from your past trauma and suppressing that trauma can build to PTSD. This film tackles family acceptance. It tackles masking your identity while giving you this fun road trip movie that takes place in the 70s. It's entertaining. It has some very interesting family dynamics while all giving you some really great characters. And that's all thanks to the writer and director of this film, Alan Ball, who in doing some research in this film, you can definitely tell this is a passion project for him because he has his own story in coming out to his family. And when I mentioned it earlier, being a big fan of Alan's work, I mean, you can look at his resume. It speaks for itself, right? Whether it be him being a writer on TV shows like True Blood and Six Feet Under, him being a co-writer of a film like American Beauty, he's such a fantastic writer and director, in my opinion. And the way Ball kind of tackles this story of a gay man who's hidden himself from his family and seeing how that weighed on him and that told on him while giving us the story of Beth, who we'll talk a little bit about later and her point of view and balancing dramatic moments while being fun and entertaining and making me cry and laugh all within an hour and a half runtime. I thought that was very impressive by the writer and director of this film. So going into the amazing performances in his movie, starting off with Uncle Frank himself, played by Paul Bettany, which little side note, I know for some people, they only think of Paul Bettany as Vision and Jarvis in the MCU, which he's great in that role, and I'm excited to see him in WandaVision. But for me, I think Paul Bettany's fantastic. It, it dates back all the way to the early 2000s in movies like A Knight's nice Tale, uh, A Beautiful Mind, Masters and Commander. He's such a fantastic actor, and he really gets to show you his acting abilities in this role. And seeing Frank's journey throughout this film was incredible to watch, and Paul Bettany does a great job of giving us a wonderful performance. Seeing how he was viewed in the eyes of his father who passes away and is the reason why he has to go back home, from getting that phone call to him hitting the road and getting all those emotions and memories that come back from his past and seeing how Frank is so different in New York. In New York, he's more confident. He's a college professor. He's able to be himself, but as he's on the road, as he gets closer to home, he becomes a kid again, right? He becomes smaller because of the way his father treated him. And again, the performance by Paul Bettany is truly a sight to see. Then you throw in a young actress who just continues to impress me every time I see her, and that's Sophia Lillis. And just in her short career, whether it be in the It movies or Gretel and Hansel earlier this year or TV shows like Sharp Objects or Netflix's I'm Not Okay With This, she is just a great actress. She's so kind of endearing. She has a great screen presence to her, and she has such a promising career. And in this movie, as Beth, this character who gives so much heart and gives you so much within this role, she's the one who narrates this story and how she's able to let the audience into the story. It's her point of view of her uncle, who is the only adult that kind of treats her like somebody. And she is very fond of him because he is able to move away from this small town. He was able to go to New York, and that motivated her character to actually go to college and go to school in New York and kind of become her own person and their relationship and their chemistry was damn near perfect in my eyes. 
And then this film gives me an unexpected trio that I did not know I needed, but I want more of, and that is the character that Peter McDeasy plays as Wally, and that is Frank's partner and an absolute scene stiller in this film. Wally's character brought so much love and joy to this film, and at the same time, had his own story back home, and, and not being able to come out to his family, and understanding why he's not able to based on the stuff that we get within this film, and seeing his love that he had for Frank was so beautiful to see, and being there for him during this tough time, and I think we can all use some Wally in our life no matter if it's a partner of ours a loved one a best friend I thought that the performance by Peter was fantastic and Wally like I said he was a scene stiller and just one of my favorite characters throughout this movie and then finishing up my positives with highlighting the supporting cast of this film. Now, again, this film does come out on November 25th, which in the U.S. is Thanksgiving. And again, not everyone celebrates that holiday, but we all have our kind of ways of being thankful, having friends and family over, eating a meal. And if I were to compare our three main characters, you know, Beth, Frank, and, you know, Wally to the main course, then you got to have some good side dishes, right? And that's where the supporting cast comes in. I thought they did a good job in the role, whether it be Judy Greer as the mother of Beth, whether it be Margot Martinton, who is the grandmother of Beth and the mother of Uncle Frank and kind of the heart and soul of the family. You have Stephen Root and seeing his tense felt relationship with Frank. You have Frank's brother played by Stephen Zahn as Mike. Lois Smith as the auntie. Again, I thought they all did a fantastic job in their roles. And even though this is a family out in Creeksville, a small town in South Carolina, I think we can all relate to this family. We all have our kind of dysfunctional family. We all have the kind of family members that are within this film. So I think that's where the relatability factor kind of comes into this movie and again the main cast the supporting cast the direction the story the way they tackled this type of story I thought was fantastic so if I were to kind of get into some criticisms there's a couple minor things I would say out of the three act structure the first half wasn't as strong as the second and third act and I think it was kind of intentional again they're kind of easing you into the situation and the more kind of entertaining road trip aspect is in the second half of the film and the more emotional aspect with Frank addressing his trauma with his family is definitely where the film kind of hits home with the emotional aspect but the first half was just not as strong narratively speaking which again I think was the intention of the film but kind of a minor thing and then some other things that kind of come to mind again another kind of minor issue the first half has this kind of time jump which involves Beth going from you know 14 to 18 and even though this is Frank's story I would have liked to have seen that character development on screen versus off screen because I, again I'm a big fan of Sophia I think she's a great actress and I just would have loved to got a little bit more backstory with that character and then again something very selfish of, 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 of me in regards to this is something you always want when a film I wanted more of that trio I wanted more of Beth I wanted more of Uncle Frank and Wally on this road trip I need a sequel I need a spinoff I need a mini, mini series of them traveling across the country going to different places because again I thought their chemistry was fantastic so minor things Things, but definitely some things that kind of come to mind but before I give you my overall thoughts and give you my score of this film if you haven't already make sure to like this video share this video comment your thoughts below and make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my other reviews on this channel with that being said let me give you all my final thoughts of this movie and give you my score so overall, this story of family acceptance, which I think is something we can all relate to, and seeing our main character, Uncle Frank, running away from his problems and suppressing his problems only made matters worse, was so beautifully told in the lens of this story that many people within the LGBTQ community face in coming out to their family and how everyone has their own experiences in doing so. The performances by our main characters and supporting characters all work within this film. The writing and direction by Alan Ball and the handling of the subject matter and balancing the different tones was powerful and impactful and I believe the film accomplished its main message in encouraging us all to be ourselves so with that being said I'm going to give Uncle Frank on Amazon Prime coming out November 25th a solid 4.5 out of 5 and I highly recommend you all give it a watch so with that being said that's my thoughts let me know if you all are going to check this movie out and when you do let me know your favorite moments did you cry did you have a good time let's discuss this film in the comments below as always make sure you like share share, comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit that bell so you don't miss any of my other content, hope you all enjoyed this review, hope you're staying safe, and we'll see you on the next video.